Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about a really cool topic, and that's how prey escape predators. So let's get an introduction together so we're all on the same page. Predators and prey are in this kind of never ending arm race. Predators need food to survive, and prey need not to die. So if you were to rank them, the consequences for prey are much greater than for predators. Prey have lots of traits that can help them survive, like sizes, shapes, their speed. A quick example, insects have really mobile wings that could help them maneuver away from the quick tongues of lizards or frogs. But what about legs? Well, most mammals walk on four legs. We call this quadrupedal. Think dogs, cats, cows, mice. But some mammals walk on two legs. We call this bipedal. Think humans. Bipedal animals usually have larger back legs. So researchers wanted to see if this makes a difference in prey being able to escape from predators. And they looked at some really cool animals. One was the kangaroo rat. It's bipedal and it's famous for its high jumps, just like a kangaroo. And they compared the kangaroo rat to several other rodents that were quadrupedal. Let's talk about the methods. First, the researchers had to find these rodents. So they traveled to the desert in Southwest North America and captured 150 rodents. This included the bipedal kangaroo rats and then three other quadrupedal rodents. Those would be wood rats, pocket mice, and ground squirrels. The researchers tagged them, set them free, and tracked them back to their own burrows. Then they did something a little sneaky. They scared the crap out of them to see what they did, but in a scientific way. They set up what they call a rattlesnake strike simulator. Try saying that three times fast. The rattlesnake is a big predator of rodents in these habitats. So the rattlesnake strike simulator is an appropriate way to see what these prey do. The simulator is a plastic tube with a cork on a spring. It's attached to a string so the researcher can cut the string and the cork springs toward the rodent and scares them. So take a look at the video to see it in action. They filmed the rodent's reactions and looked at four different things. One, jump frequency. So how many of the rodents actually jumped away? Two, their reaction time, so how quickly they reacted to this fake predator. Three, their takeoff time, so how long it actually took them to leave the ground. And four, jump height, which is just how high they jumped. So here's what they found. Let's talk about the results. Almost all the kangaroo rats and pocket mice jumped, but only a few of the wood rats or squirrels did. They ran away, but they didn't jump. The desert kangaroo rat, which is a specific species of kangaroo rat, and the wood rat reacted faster than the other species. The pocket mice and kangaroo rats had faster takeoff times than the wood rats and the squirrels, and they were faster than a rattlesnake could actually strike. So you can see that here in a graph. On the x-axis are the different rodents and the rattlesnake strike speed, so that's how fast a rattlesnake is. On the y-axis is a takeoff time in milliseconds. These species are all in the same family, which we'll talk about in a minute. The researchers also found that there wasn't a huge difference in jump heights, but a few of the kangaroo rats did jump almost a half a meter, or 1.6 feet. Pretty cool. Now let's discuss. What does all this mean if you were a rodent in the desert? Well, bipedal kangaroo rats were good at reacting to a potential threat, but so were the quadrupedal pocket mice. A rodent might not need to be bipedal to jump away from a predator quickly. And this makes sense because kangaroo rats and pocket mice are in the same rodent family. They both have strong back legs to help them jump away from predators, even though one is bipedal and the other is quadrupedal. They also have really good ears, which means that they may be able to respond more quickly than the other rodents in the study. So what's the deal with the wood rats and the squirrels? Well, they're bigger and harder to make a meal of, so they might not be as afraid of rattlesnakes as the smaller rodents. Researchers also know that they are less sensitive to rattlesnake venom. 
So these traits might help them survive instead of their jumping ability. So where does all this leave us? Conclusion. This study allows us to look at the traits of animals and see how they might have evolved. This same strategy we can use to look at ourselves. What advantages do we get from our traits? We're bipedal, we have opposable thumbs, we have eyes that face forward and ears that are on each side of our head. And of course, there's our big brain. What challenges have humans faced where these traits were beneficial? It's certainly something to think about. That's all for today. Hope you learned something and have a great one. Hey everyone, we're a small nonprofit and all of our resources are free. So if you like what you see, please subscribe and share. The desert kangaroo rat, a specific species of kangaroo rat. rat bleh, bleh. <laughs>